Hey guys, Ryan here. Thank you for joining me for another video. In this one, I wanna walk you through how to use one of my favorite Amazon Seller Central tools. It's called Feedback Wiz, and it serves me two really important purposes for my Amazon business. The first one is it automates email sends to all my customers. Now, it's highly configurable, so I've configured it to wait three days after my customers receive an email, and then I send them one using this automation tool basically making sure that everything's good and asking them for honest feedback, which is within the Amazon terms of service for feedback requests. It doesn't ask for positive feedback, it just asks for honest feedback. Also, I use it to uh, notify my, my FBM products, my third-party products. So I, use this, I started using this for FBA, for my branded private label products, but I also use this for my FBM print-on-demand products that I sell through Printful and through Gearbubble to notify my customers when their product has been shipped out. This is especially useful during times like right now where a lot of the um, fulfillment production partners that we use to produce and ship our products have seen some delays. So at least we can establish a link of communication with the customer when it's shipped out in case they are getting a little antsy about not having received yet. So then they can at least look forward to uh, getting their product in the mail. The other way that this product helps me or that Feedback Wiz helps me, this tool, is it monitors my listings for me. So if there's like a hijacker that jumps on my listing and changes something, or if uh, if I receive any feedback, positive or negative, things like that, it will alert me via email. So instead of me having to manually check every day, it does this for me and it just lets me know. So I really like this tool. I think you're gonna like it too. I'm gonna go jump on my computer and I will show you exactly how I use it. All right, let's dive into things. This is part 12 of my Amazon FBA 2020 mini series. If you guys have been liking it so far, please at a minimum hit that like button, let the YouTube algorithm know and consider subscribing to my channel for the remainder. And real quick before we get started, my name is Ryan Hogue. I've sold over $1.7 million on Amazon. I have a FBA Facebook community. You can follow a uh, link in the description if you'd like to join, I'd love to have you. Also, I've got a seven day mini course completely free, delivered via email, one lesson per day. If you would like to uh, sign up, there's a link in the description as well. I also publish income reports since I began my FBA journey. You can go back in time and see when I only had five sales for $164, all the way to when I scaled up to almost 3,000 sales in a month. So you can go check all those out or subscribe and you'll see all of my future income reports when I drop them. Last but not least, I have a full Amazon FBA course. I spent over a year writing it. It's the most thorough one on the internet that you're gonna find. You can check that out, link in the description. All right, the tool I'm gonna walk you through how to use is called Feedback Wiz. This falls into the category of tools that I couldn't live without. Uh, I'm not just sharing every tool in existence with you guys. I'm sharing tools that I use that I really think are important because there's other tools that I probably won't tell you about that are less important, they're just nice to have. This one I think is kind of critical to your business. So when you log into Feedback Wiz, this is the dashboard that you see. It's actually very informative. Um, you know, it's nice for tracking your FBM and FBA sales if you sell both, like I do, which I recommend doing, by the way. It's a big thing that I talk about on my YouTube channel is maximizing the value of your Seller Central account by selling both FBA and FBM. Uh, you can track your product reviews here. Um, you can set a time period as well. So if you want to see over the last year, over the last week, over the last month, etc., you can do that. And you can see your active campaigns. So this is the sends dashboard. And these are the three primary campaigns that I use for my automated email sends to my customers, which is the primary reason why I use Feedback Wiz. But I also use it for product alerts, which is the last thing I'm going to show you in this presentation. All right. So if you want to see it in action, all you have to do in Seller Central, go up to your buyer messages tab and uh, click whatever primary marketplace you're selling on sort on the left hand side where it says messages sort that to sent messages and then i had to blur out all the people's information but you can see or at least i can see that you know today it's already sent out what is that one two three four five six seven eight, like 10 emails at least at least in that column 10 emails um all automated basically just letting people know that it's been sent out and um that they can expect their product or if they just received it or actually it's i I send it three days after they were supposed to have received it. It'll also email them and just, you know, make sure everything's looking good and ask them for honest feedback. All right. If you would like to check out Feedback Wiz, now is the time to follow along. So this is the easy setup process. They truly made it easy. Uh, and you're going to see why in like two seconds. So if you go up to campaigns, then go to template manager 
and then hit load pre-built template. Now I'm a web developer, so I have experience creating my own email templates and I went down that route and I made super custom email templates for all of my products. And then you know what I did after like three months is I came back and I redid everything and I simplified everything. So, <laughs> cause I didn't want it to be a manual process for every new product that I launched. So I ended up using the pre-built templates and making it more generic. All right, so after I hit load pre-built template, go to product review request. If you would like to set up a review request email, which is the most valuable one, because that really helps establish you in your niche and separate you from other sellers not using software like this. All right, so then I hit the uh, review request email right here behind me. And as you can see here, this is the generic template that they set up. So what you're gonna wanna do is click load this template right there at the bottom. So I recommend just uploading something for your logo that represents your brand or your seller name. Then you can, I mean, I, I used like a random emoji with heart eyes for some reason in this demo, but you can just upload something for your company. Then when you preview it, you will see it gets dropped at the top where you see bracket bracket logo image uh, and then delete the default company name with houses just delete that drop the bracket bracket logo image and it will render your image at the top of every email it looks very professional that way all right then just hit save you can use or if you want to change anything in the generic text content you can feel free to do that as well completely up to you uh, then hit save whenever you're ready and that's not going to send yet we now have to create a campaign and tell it when to send this out so go up to campaigns hit campaign manager click create new email campaign then give it a name. So I just called mine feedback request all orders. And then you're gonna to wanna to load up the email template that you just built. And for the status, if you want to, these are the triggers for when it sends out and like kind of like filters. So if you wanna do it just how I do it, I do it on delivered and then channel, I put FBA and FBM because I sell both. And let's see here, filters selected. I wanna exclude with negative feedback, one star, two star, because I don't wanna ask people, I don't wanna bring anybody back that's already left me negative reviews. You can actually set up separate email sequences if you receive negative feedback to try to fix that in an automated way. And uh, also I filtered out with returns and with refunds so that we're not asking people who didn't like the product for their feedback. Then schedule, I set mine to daily and I did it three days after the order is delivered. Now it is estimated, so it's not perfect. Sometimes you'll get someone messaging you back in the Amazon buyer seller messaging that says, I haven't received the product yet, but it's rare. But just so you know, it's not a perfect science. For the most part, it works. All right, and uh, order matching rules, I just put all products so that it applies to all of my inventory. But just so you know, this is flexible to the point where you can set it so that you can have separate emails going out for separate products then hit review and save uh, you can also have it send retroactively so that is super cool um, you can have it send from past orders that's essentially what you would do you'd click that drop down and you can go back in time and have it send out and then just hit create campaign just like that you'll have automated emails go out requesting feedback from your customers now if you're selling through Amazon Merch or Amazon KDP, I might as well just mention right now that this will not apply to those platforms because they are separate platforms. They follow a different set of rules. This is for Seller Central only, so just wanted to clarify that. All right, and now I wanna show you really quickly how the product monitoring works. This is a very easy thing to set up and extremely valuable. So go up to products, then go to product monitoring. And from here, all I did was I added all of my products. I couldn't think of a reason not to add all of them. Well, I added all my FBA products actually. I don't monitor my FBM because I've got too many, but I add all of my FBA SKUs, which is about 30 right now. And I get alerts anytime that relevant things happen. So the most high level important notifications that I could find in my email inbox. So if I missed one, which I may be missing one, my bad, but these are the ones that I could find in my, uh, my email. So when you get positive or negative reviews, and that could be on a product or on your seller account, when the number of offers change on your listing, which is indicative of a hijacker jumping on your listing or you going out of stock. So either way, or you coming back in stock actually. So that's good to know too. Uh, if your title changes, which could be a hijacker, it could be Amazon enforcing different rules for the category that you sell in, uh, anything. Uh, also monthly summaries, which is useful, tracking your feedback and um, 
I think that's pretty much the main thing that the monthly summary is good for, at least in my eyes. So yeah, these are extremely easy. They come in handy. Um, again, all you have to do is come to this screen, add the products that you want your notifications for and set and forget. Then you just monitor your email inbox. All right, guys, that's it for the feedback whiz review. Um, if you have any questions, by the way, hit me up in the comments below. I'd be happy to help. Uh, but that that is it for part 12. In the next video, part 13, I'm gonna share with you some useful but less important tools that I use for my Amazon FBA business. And I'm gonna wrap up the mini series with some final thoughts. So yeah, look forward to that video, guys. Um, hopefully, like I said, if this mini series was useful to you, all I ask is hit that like button. Just let the YouTube algorithm know. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching till the end, and I will see you at the next video. Passive income school is open. Enroll now at ryansmethod.com. Thank you.